up guys? We're about to try the uh, Bacchanal Buffet at the Caesars Palace. Um, didn't have too much of a wait, it's about 8.30. Uh, three people cost about 213 bucks, but um, no wait, kinda excited to check it out. You can taste the freshness. They're super busy, so the food doesn't stay out very long. So, very fresh. Mm. Very good. Try the shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. You can just taste how fresh it is. I think they just came. I think they just finished cooking this and they put it right on the pot. Man, it's so good. Mm. Oh, that is good. Let's try the clams. My son loves clams. He has a whole plate of them. But let's try for myself. Let's see how. Let's see how they taste. Very good flavor. Mm. That is good too. Mm. Very good. Very good clams. The flavor is very clean. It has some, some butter, some salt. Very good. Let's try the lechon. The lichon look really good, so I had to pick some up. Mm. Not a lichon fan, but this one's really good. 
Mm. This one's really good. It looks like they they cooked it for just about just about the right time, and you can you can taste the, uh, the crispiness of it. Man, this is this is very good, guys. You need to get this to try. Yeah, very good. So far, we hit on everything. Everything is good. Hit on everything. And now, a soft shell crab. I love soft shell crab. Let's try it. Mm. This is really good soft shell crab also. But I can tell that it's sitting out for a little bit because it's not crispy. But I can tell the flavor is really good. If I can catch it when it comes right out of the out of the fryer, man, this would be some really good ones. But even though they're sitting there a little bit longer, still good. Still good. Still recommend. but it's not the sliced meat section it's more of the prepared meat section so let's see the, the first thing is uh, we're actually gonna try the the, uh, the deviled eggs man I, I love eggs and I love deviled eggs so let's see if this one's any good this one looks very pretty so I'm scared anytime a deviled egg looks pretty you already know me it might be more pretty than flavored good so let's let's see A few moments later. Okay, that was a good deviled egg. I do like it. Try that out. That was good. And then I think this is the bocata. Mmm. 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 This one's really good. It has a sour cream. The cracker is very crispy. Mm. I like this one a lot. Try the pork skewer. This one here is okay. Never mind. It looks better than it tastes. Um, it's, it's sweet and, it, and it's actually, I mean, it's pretty good. It's decent. It's okay. But it's all right. It's all right. Not, not too great.
we got the, um, looks like we got some grilled chops. This one looks really good as well. Got some high hopes for this one. Mm. Get this instead of the, instead of the pork. Instead of that right here. This one is not great. Save some space for this. This right here is good. You need to get more of this. So skip that, but save some space for this. This one's really good. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm. And here's the Korean fried chicken. Can Caesar, can Caesar's buffet do a good Korean fried chicken? Well, I can tell you right now that it is not crispy. Most of the time when you go to Korean fried chicken, the skin is very crispy. Um, I think this one here is drenched in sauce, so it might have sat around for a little bit. Um, so not crispy, but let's check out the flavor. Mm. The flavor is okay. Not too bad, not too bad. It would taste a lot better crispy, but for it sitting out for a while, still pretty good. So it has a, it has a more of a like a barbecue flavor, and it's very sweet. I still would recommend. Just wish it would be a little bit more crispy. Because if it was crispy with the sauce, then it would be really good. But because of this, but because it's been sitting around for a little bit, again the flavor was really good. Um, just just it can't get past that it's not, not crispy, but it's still pretty good. the seafood section and man this is looking good right here we got some lobster claws um, we got some um, some more clams right here and we got some uh, some rock crab mmm let's, let's try it This one, not so great. Definitely been sitting out there for a while. This one's a pass. And we got this one right here. Let's see if this one's better. Mm. This one has citrusy flavor, cheesy. Mm. This one's more of a scallop. It um, tastes like a scallop. Um, I do like this one. I do like this one. This one's good. Mm -hmm. That one's good. All right. So let's try these rock crabs. So these are. So these. Hmm. These are good. These are warm. I like it when they're warm. At the wind, they were cold, so that I, they weren't very good. I skipped them, but these are warm. And we got some butter to go with them. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. Mm. Yeah. Now this is a must get. Make sure you guys leave room for this. Now this is really good. Mm. Mm. 
definitely enjoying this. Definitely enjoying this. Definitely enjoying that. So I got three lobster claws right here. I'm gonna test out the flavor. Kind of a little bit worried because they're cold. Um, I usually like my lobster um, warm or at least um, like hot. I really like them hot. This one's cold. We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna try it in the um, in the uh, cocktail sauce first. Mm. Mm. Oh, these are good. Mm. These are good, even though they're cold. Even though they're cold, they're still good. I'm gonna try it in the butter. I think I prefer them in cocktail sauce. They're still better in the cocktail sauce. Because they're cold, somehow it tastes better in the cocktail sauce, because usually I'd be dipping it in the butter. But because they're cold, um, I would say the cocktail sauce goes better with it. Mm. Here we go. by the meat carving station and uh, we got some brisket we got some prime rib and we got um, um, looks like a chicken wings and some mashed potatoes go for the mashed potatoes mm. the mashed potatoes has a weird aftertaste to it it has a good start and then it has a weird aftertaste to it, almost like like they're not fresh mashed potatoes, like you grab mashed potatoes and you mash them. It's almost like a powdered mashed potato, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. Let's try the chicken wing. Crispy. Mm. That's a very well seasoned chicken wing. Very crispy. Mm. This one's good. Mm -hmm. Can you look like you want it? Let's try the prime rib. I right, actually, I'm gonna try the biscuit. Brisket here, very good. Way better than the wind. Flavored well. You got the um, the um, the burnt ends. Oh, love the burnt ends, man. Very good. Very moist, not dry. This is a recommend, guys. This is definitely a recommend, right? Here. Definitely a recommend. Mm. Yeah, we need some more. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I think this brisket may be able to save this mashed potato. Let's try. 
Nope. Can't save the mashed potato. Mashed potato is not good. But the brisket, this is a melty, melty, moist brisket. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's try the prime rib. I'm not a big prime rib fan, but we're gonna try it out. This one here um, looks like it's a medium. It's also a good prime rib. Very good prime rib. Mm. Not tough. Very good flavor. He sprinkled some salt on top. Very good. But the brisket, that's the winner of the show, buddy. The winner of the show. Get the, make sure you get the brisket. We went to the, it looks like the Mexican section, and uh, we got some some ceviche. We got the tacos right here. Of course, you got to get the churros. And um, I, for, I forgot what this one is, but we're gonna try it anyway. So let's try this one first. That one's a pass. Not very good. It tastes like they added barbecue sauce to it. And barbecue sauce is not, doesn't belong in a taco or any type of Mexican dish. So that one is no good, pass. We're gonna try the tacos. Let's try the taco. That was good. Zesty. Got some mango in there. Lettuce. The meat is cooked well. This one's good. Mm -hmm. Try this ceviche. Ceviche is very good. Get the ceviche. Yes, man. Mm. This one's good. Mm. Just the right amount of, of, of zestiness with the lemon. Mm. The shrimp is fresh. There you go. Last churros. Gotta try the churros. Try the churros at the other place. That one was very good. Let's see how Caesars does a churro. Mm. Equally as good. Doesn't have the apple filling in it, but equally as good. Love churros.
took a spin around the uh, looks like the dessert island. Yeah, this is the dessert island. Like, like literally not part of the uh, the food continent. It's a dessert island, completely separate. So I gave you guys a spin. We're gonna see that. And um, so we got we got a lot of cool stuff. So what's nice about the dessert island is everything is small, so you can taste everything without going overboard, right? My wife thinks I've gone overboard. I see her face, but this this looks really good. This is not overboard, trust me. There's way more stuff out there, but let's give it a go. So first we gotta try out the creme brulee. Always gotta get the creme brulee. This right here is the barometer of the desserts, because if you get a bad creme brulee, you might have a bad dessert island, but I don't think so. Let's try this. Let's try this creme brulee. Not, I would not mind being stranded on the dessert island, guys. If you can be dis dis stranded on an island, this is where you want to be so far. This is amazing. Mm. This right here is good. Alright, next one looks like we got the fruity pebbles with strawberry. Very cute. Small container, again, just sample packs, man. This is great. It was very good. It's not sweet. Not sweet. Mm. More of a strawberry like pudding. But man, this is actually really good. You can you can you can barely taste the fruity pebbles, but it does give you that extra layer of crunch. Very good. Mm. That's good. Next we got the bananas foster. Man, look at these little small containers. Great. Banana Foster. Mm. Mm. This is all so good. Mm. The taste the banana. Mm. Mm. This one's also good. Now this one here. This was piping hot out of the oven. This is the cinnamon roll. Let's check it out. Mm. Oh my God. That's a good cinnamon roll. Again, not too sweet. You can taste the caramel. You can taste the, um, the cinnamon. This is really good. Sometimes cinnamon rolls can be too sweet, but not this. This is actually really good. Mm. Next up, we got the chocolate mousse. I love chocolate mousse. Let's try this. Chocolate mousse. hitting on everything. This dessert island is wonderful, man. So far, everything is great. The, the, the chocolate mousse is really good. Not too sweet. Um, it is a little tart at the end, but this is a good chocolate mousse. It is like a tarty chocolate, so it does have a sharp taste at the end. Very good. We got the bite-sized cheesecake. Lost my fruit. Let's put the fruit back on. things that I thought they couldn't mess up. The cheesecake. Wow, that was very, very, very basic. It wasn't very good. Well, I just say it wasn't good. It was okay, but very basic. You might, you might want to pass on that one, but everything else is pretty good. Now we got the strawberry. Let's try the strawberry.
Back on track, guys. Strawberries. Mm. That one's good. And the last one for tonight, we got the macaroon. Let's try the macaroon. Mm. Oh, that's a good macaroon. Mm. Melt in your mouth. Crumbles in your mouth, actually. Not, again, not too sweet. When desserts are too sweet, they're just overpowering. But this one right here, just the right amount of sweetness. Again, crumbles in your mouth. Very good flavor. Well, mm. that was good. We, we just got done with the uh, Bacchanal Buffet. Uh, man, so stuffed. That place had endless amounts of food. Um, Check-in was great. They got with the reservation. They got us in and out um, pretty much pretty quick. Um, I definitely rate this as a go for you for anyone that's interested in coming. Um, price is a little bit like higher than most buffets, but very good, very good buffet, very good buffet. Lots and lots of food. Uh, definitely recommend. And I'll see you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. If you guys like this type of video, please like and subscribe. Um, help us out and let us keep going and we're going to keep going to these uh, food places and food adventure so we'll see you guys in the next one thanks